Welcome to the Dice Tower Summer Spectacular, featuring live plays, contests, and we'd like to thank our sponsors and our special guests, and we hope that you enjoy. Folks, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. I'm Z Garcia. Welcome to back to the Summer Spectacular. I almost said winter. I don't know why. What? The Summer Spectacular. You stepped outside lately? It ain't yes. winter out there. Yes. The Summer Spectacular, and um, we are talking about tournament games. Mm. We have never done this one before. I know this for a fact. Um, and uh, this here top 10 list is sponsored by the World Series of Board Gaming, ah. which Z and I are going to. And so uh, let me show you about that real quick and we'll be right back. Hey everybody, we're talking today about the World Series of Board Gaming and we're inviting you to come on out to it September 24th through September 28th in uh, the, the year of our Lord 2023. Mm -hmm. This is the second mm -hmm. time it's run, but it's the first time that these two folks are coming That's along right. with us. Yes. I'm there, I've heard some amazing things. Uh, this guy was there last time, and he I was. had nothing but wonderful things to say, so I'm excited, yeah. I'm going, I'm going to wreck shop. Okay, you... That's, <laughs> that might be true. Why would you want to go? Well, there's lots and lots of prizes. This is the World Series of Board Gaming. There's 16 ring tournaments. If you win one, you get a ring, which is worth a couple thousand mm. dollars on its own. But you have a chance to win the grand prizes. Fourth place gets... One thousand dollars. Third place gets five thousand. Second place hey? ten. And first keeps going place, up. It keeps going up. It would be weird works. otherwise. That's true. Twenty-five thousand for first place. Twenty-five thousand dollars for first place. That's but a lot of games. Not only that, though, if you do get the rings, you get a shirt and a deluxe copy of Ra. The winner gets a, a, a like a four thousand dollar bracelet. Um, wow. Then there's outer the ring. ring competitions you can participate in. In fact, one of them, the Red Cathedral one, the winner of that gets a free trip to Essen. Oh, wow. Wow. You, you may not. Well, you actually could enter and win it if you wanted to. I could. There's I could. dice thrown prizes, and there's two. They're, game Theory is giving away two gaming tables while they're there. Oh, those are nice tables too. So here's the thing. You say I don't really want to play in tournaments or not. There's more than tournaments. There's an outside open gaming area. I'm the king of that. I'm, I'm the prince. Of, I'm I'm a dude in that area. Mm -hmm. Duke is it? The Dice Tower West. <laughs> Library, a lot of it is there to play games, and you can enter all kinds of raffles. You can even, you might play a game with us, but there's definitely games with us going off. You might win a game and play with me in Cosmic Encounter. I'm going to win. I haven't won my last two games. This one I'm, I'm winning. Mm. And I'm going to be playing some Jamaica. So if you want to be a pirate and hang out with me, that's where you want to be. Arr, I do rhyme. But if you want to hang out with the bad company, that's going to be with me. So we're going to be playing that game. Bad company. I agree with every part of that mm -hmm. sentence. It's going to be great. Um, arr, arr. But we'll the be there hanging out company. playing games. We'll also be announcing a few of the games, and there's a whole host of special guests. And we'll be streaming many of those games on our channel here. So join us at the World Series of Board Gaming this September. We'll see you there, and Z's going to crush oh, the Rex Shop. shop. And Rex you're gonna, shop. I'm going to just be me. I'll be friendlier than both. That's true. No. Oh. Uh, all right. What I happened? Like, I feel like I've just been portaled here or something. This is odd. I I, I don't ever sit like this. <laughs> <laughs> What's all happening right, to folks. Me? So, the World Series of Board Gaming is happening, and they mm. do run tournaments. They um, they have sixteen games. So here are the games: Seven Wonders, Acquire, Azul, Arc Nova, Brass Birmingham, Patchwork, Castle of Burgundy, Cascadia. Dune, Gaia Project, Great Western Trail, Ra, Splendor, Terraforming Mars, Ticket to Ride, and Wingspan. Great games for tournaments. So, those are banned from our list. Banned! Get them out of here. No. They also have a bunch of Outer Ring tournaments also banned from our list. Banned! I'm kidding. I didn't do Who? that because you don't probably know all the Outer Ring ones. I don't know what, I don't even know what Outer Ring is. Is that part of their, their yeah. show? So okay. the, the ring events are the ones that you can win and get a ring. Oh, I see. Gotcha. But they have these, they call it Outer Ring. They're like not happening in the main. They're outside in another right. area. People okay. are playing it and you can win prizes. Ancillary and trip to events. Essen. Okay. Yeah. So I think these are great games. So m these are 10 games that I picked that I thought if I was running a tournament, mm -hmm. Of games. Mm -hmm. These are 10 games I would have as my, my tournament games, excluding the ones that were already picked. Because excluding I would, I would have Ticket picked. to Ride. I would have 
probably, you know, several of the other ones on this list. Okay. Like Ra, I would definitely have Ra. I, I would, would be a super fun percent have raw on my list. I tried to pick games that would give different types of experiences but that would work well in a kind of a, you know, a tournament setting. Well, I'm going to explain how I'm going to run these tournaments. Oh, great. I'm definitely not going to be explaining how I'm running these tournaments. Well, you'll yeah, figure it out on your own. own. No, not really. in great detail, but I'm explaining why I'm picking them for tournament settings rather than just anything. Yeah, my main Yeah, I'll try. I mean, my main thing is, I mean, there's one or two that I can be like, oh, here's how I would do it because yeah. it's not, you know, immediately apparent. Right. But, yeah, for the most part, I just figured they would be good tournaments and games that feel and seem fair. Some oh, things fair. I avoided a few things, like differing starting positions right out. I did not. Any game that has a starting faction that you play, mm -hmm. immediately out. Not me. I've got plenty of like those. Like, if anybody, because, again, you then no, have No, because you can bid for those You can bid for factions. them. You it's can... not in the rules of the game. It's then, in no. the no, tournament rules. rules. No, I disagree. Okay? Now you're modifying the games. The games are perfect. <laughs> the tournament is flawed. <laughs> anyway, I avoided a few different things that I thought... This wouldn't make a good tournament game mm -hmm. without modifications, I, I suppose. No, no. It's my being modified. Okay. We're playing a tournament, you know? I just change the games completely. Got it. Chess with dice. Oh, okay. That kind of tournament. Nightmare Got chess. It. I love it. All right. Well, let's see. We're going to give our reasonings. So here we go. Rock, paper, scissors. All right, let's go. Who's going? Is this to see who goes first? No, this is the tournament. He's I know, guessing. I know, I know. Okay, let's go. Is it rock, paper, scissors, shoot after that? We ready? Yeah, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. You both got got. <laughs> we got cut. Bam! <laughs> we got cut. And I'm out. <laughs> Drop. Give this man two rings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where's my ring? Mike walks in with both hands. Mm -hmm. filled, filled with rings. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like four more mm. and around his neck that he has oh. with the fingers still on him from other people. Ah! Ah! I've taken in my I've got my garden shears. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mike Yakuza. <laughs> I, I'm the captain now. All right. My number ten is a game that I think would be a good tournament game. That's good. For be I was that was leading to something. You can sir. just start now. Go ahead. What's the next sentence? What are you about to say? Because it goes against everything Z mentioned at the beginning. There, just start there. This goes against every everything Z mentioned at the beginning. You can just start there. It's funny. That's what I was going to say before Good you grief. interrupted do, me. Do the out Shut up. It. No, no, I'm going to give him grief. My number 10 is Wonderland's War. Ooh. Oh, this is insane, Mike. It'll never work. The Not only, in this town. The only thing this has going against it is that it's long. But there have been yeah. plenty of tournament games, even at the World Series of Board Game, that are not short. So, that is correct. Um, I, I think this would be really, really good because it has those factions. It no. has heavy, heavy interaction. It has push your luck. Uh, all of these things, I think, work well in a tournament setting. I think that you're all going after like a pool of resources and that mm. it can lead to a really good like when everyone wants the same card that can lead to some really really tense bidding for these things uh i just think that this would be a lot of fun in a tournament setting uh with the exception of the length maybe but again it wasn't enough to keep it off the list but it is number 10 probably because of the length so i, I would start everyone at five points mm -hmm. oh no i would uh, i would I start Go ahead, because I haven't even really thought about the tournament. How it well, you got it? Bid like what faction yeah. you want, or, or, you would have to or is it random draw? You could do random draw factions. I would probably incorporate the bag drawing as a random draw, like make make uh, make some some kind of bag pulling to decide who goes first. Oh, and you can push your luck. You could push your luck. Yeah, like you could pull a chip and stop. Right. But if you pull uh, a madness chip, you, you're you're out of you're that out. round. You're right. Yeah. Ooh, I like it. Mm-hmm. Z looks confused. Are you sure you want to be in this list, Z? I feel like all my picks are going to be really boring compared to you guys. <laughs> Fantastic. I like the way this like is legit, starting. Like very, again, games that are going to feel very fair. This I, I've never played, okay? Mm -hmm. But there's a that, lot of stuff that makes happening. makes it exciting. Okay, That's what you want. all right. That's well, my number want. 10, I cannot get too much garbage for, for from Mike. Okay. Because he's the one who taught it to me. This is a great pick, Z. It's a Canizia game. This is a better pick, Z. Viking Caesar. 
Oh, please. And it would be, I think, a really good tournament game. Okay. Whale Riders. Oh, interesting. I think Whale oh. Riders has, huh. push your luck, it has does. a really neat and interesting economy. Mm -hmm. It's a game you can definitely get better at, but yep. it is not predetermined. It is not. There's a nice amount of input randomness. Yes. And you are going to really go head to head with people. Yes. When, I, try, I tried to think also for all my picks here, mm -hmm. how would this game be, what's a game like now? How do I imagine it would be yes. different with money on the line? That's what I did too. You know actually. what I mean? That's what I How's did How's it going to change? Right. And obviously we would remove any sharp objects from the room Correct. this is happening in, but I think Whale Riders and obviously the rest of my list here would benefit in an interesting way, I'm not saying I want to play like this every time, mm -hmm. but it would be... It would be changed. Its soul would be uh, modified mm -hmm. if it was a tournament. Yeah. If there was something on the line. Yep. So you, this is my number like 10 pick. pick. I think it's a great pick. You know what, uh, why I also think it's a good pick is that tempo and pace is a huge part of this mm -hmm. game. And in a tournament setting, the angst you already feel is going to be multiplied by 10. Yeah. And you're going to be you're going to be sometimes taking riskier moves because you're so worried about what the other players are going to do. And you're taking your cues from how other yes. players behave. Right. Some players are going to push that temple. Yeah. I could definitely see somebody on their first turn being like, I'm not buying anything here. I'm moving forward to the next port. Right. I'm like, oh, gosh, mm. that's an unusual move. Now you've changed What the do they whole know tempo. that I don't know? Right. This guy's a really good player at this, maybe. <laughs> oh, am I, have I been, like, I'm, I've started that self-doubting, you know? Is there a strategy I'm not aware of? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this game broken, mathematically right. <laughs> speaking? Uh, I think we know the answer to that. All right, well, I have an uh, almost crossover. Really? No, not really, but same designer. <laughs> Apparently, we're working for Mike Delisio. I love everything about this. Kinesia's games work well for tournaments. This is a great yeah. pick, Tom. And I wanted a game, a medium game in my list of tournaments. So this mm -hmm. is the lowest one. Okay, Because there's, a, there's, on. there's some luck us. involved with this one. Okay, okay. Don't say it. But I think this would work well with four players. There's some luck involved, so it's not through the desert. No, I think I know what it is already. What do you think it is? I think it's Millie Fiore. You are correct! Mm-hmm. Nice. That is what we call a savant. Millie Fury. I, I pronounce it savant. This is a brilliant I also pick. think it ends at a reasonable time. It's not going to last forever. I don't think you have to make tough decisions, mm -hmm. but what you do is so interactive with it everyone else at the table. super interactive, yes. I, I actually, I, I walked by a game of this is Dice Tower East, and a guy had three ships out mm -hmm. and none, nothing in the line. No, 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 I'm sorry. He had the whole line filled out. And no ships? And no ships. <laughs> He's like, I might be doing this wrong. I said, you are. You're definitely <laughs> doing this wrong, yes. But I, so the luck is in the cards, right? There's yeah, a little bit of, there's a little bit of, there's, you know, there's so drafting and stuff, but sometimes yeah. it just, right. things work out. Mm -hmm. But I think this is a nice, fun, light game along the lines of, say, Splendor. Yes. That it's a little bit longer. You might call it a Splendor killer. I, I, do, I would not. <laughs> um, but I think for four players, this would be a great tournament. I 100% agree. It, I think it's best at four. Mm-hmm. And so, Millie Fury, my number 10. Can't argue yeah, with this That's pick, good. Tom. That's good. Thank you, Corey, for the super chat. Before Thank you, you go, come on. I'm oh, not, we're, we're doing this again? Yeah. All right. We got to come back. Okay, so, it's rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes. It's on shoot, yeah. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. You both got me. What are you so we're, we're That's tied. right. We're tied That's now. right. All right, get ready to get got next time. <laughs> All right. Um, my number nine is a crossover already. Millie Fury. With Tom Vassell, it's Millie Fury. That's Look at that. That's That's he why looks he right it. at me. Uh -huh. He looks right at me. I'm like, really? Be still, my heart. Why don't you just stab me in the face? Look, I agree with you that I wow, think... Wow, I, I did not think there'd be much crossover. Yeah, yeah. I, I do think that a lot of times... Kinesia games are really good in a tournament setting. I mm -hmm. think, again, Raw would probably be my number one choice. It would be for me, too. But, but you know, we can't put it because it's already been. Is this uh, my only Kinesia, though? Let me see. Hopefully. None of y'all business. None ya. All right. So, we've already talked about it. Millie Fiore, the, the, the most of the game is happening in the heads of the players. And oh. you have to be able to pivot. And you have to be able to try to set up those long combo turns where you're taking the extra actions. Um, so while there is luck, 
there's also a fair amount of being able to make the best out of the position that you have at that point. And you also cannot just play this game on what you're doing. You 100% have to watch everything everyone else is doing. Mm -hmm. Because if you let one person do one of the mini games by themselves, they're going to win. Right. And I think that's, in a, in a four player game, that balance is better. Yes. In a two player, it's easy to. Sure. You kind of have to let them win at something. It, this is not best at two. Uh, the expansion makes it better, but four players, Millie Fiore, well, great tournament game. In there. Have you mm -hmm. played the expansion? Have you? Mm -hmm. I reviewed Would the, the expansion. expansion be at the tournament? The expansion would not be at the tournament. Hot take: You should almost never use expansion. No, not for a tournament. Yeah, but if Except you win the to tournament, to Mars. do you win the expansion? If you win the tournament, then you get a trip to Germany, where uh -huh. you play the game with the expansion with Doctor Kanizzi, and at the end, he gives you a ring or a bow tie. A golden bow tie. <gasps> oh, can we please have a golden bow tie award? Please? No. Go. I win the golden bow tie Tom's award. That's weird. my number nine, Millie Fiore. This already was weird, Tom. <laughs> number nine for me is Istanbul. And Istanbul, the way I envision this, mm. Tom almost just threw up in his mouth. <laughs> no, no, it's not bit. that. I'm just. Are you okay? I'm trying to, to say something different. Like, good, good pick. <laughs> That's, diff that's a different thing, you mean? No, instead mm. of there might be Giants reference type stuff. Mm. Oh, as opposed to the song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, here's how I envision this. The way you set up this right. board... Paint they... a picture for me. Okay, calm down. Um, <laughs> the tiles can be set up randomly on the board, okay? Sure. And a big part of the game, much like people who play Dominion and they get good at looking at the ten cards and going, okay, I have a plan. As to how this is going to develop. Yeah, right. Sure. People who play this a lot, you can look at where the tiles ended up and see your path. Yes. Do a little pathfinding and go, okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to swing over here, buy a thing, because I can sell it here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then come over here and get victory points. That'll be a, uh, an efficient path for a bit, and then after like five rounds, I might have to switch it up. Whatever. So the way I would do this is run multiple tables where that setup is random, but it's identical yes, on every I table. Say, I agree. I like that. And then that's round one, elimination style, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then for the second round, for the survivors of those games, new random, but again, the tables match. Mm. You see, this is a tournament with like 100 people. Guys, yeah, yeah. Okay? right, right, right. Well, yeah, as tournament should be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And until finally, again, you get to the uh, to the final setup. And I would, I'll, I would even make sure that the setups are cannot repeat, that they are different, that they're kind of, you know, different from each other from, uh, what do you call that, from round to round, I guess, from now, heat to heat. What are your thoughts on, there have been discussions about this game, which I love, I love mm -hmm. this symbol, by the way, um, that there are particular random setups that can happen that can lead to kind of like these little short loops. Yeah. That kind of mess the game up a bit. Yeah. Would the you judge make those the ineligible? The judge has no. the opportunity to randomly set it up and then wipe it if yeah, they so desire. I think that that would make it less of a... I don't think it would be a great experience if there's like a clearly exploitable thing, even if everyone's got that. I don't know. I think it's on the players to All know right. that, to All see right. that. All right. But I don't All know right. the game that well. I would yeah. not do well at a tournament of this. I wouldn't either, yeah. You know what I mean? But I think it would make for an interesting tournament. Yeah, I think I you're do. Right. It's a punchy game. There's also, this is one of those games that at the end, somebody mm -hmm. just wins. You get the final gem, and bam, the game's over immediately, and right. you win. There's no scoring. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I like that, too. In tournament yeah. games, you can just be like, put your hand up, and you go, I won at this table. And they come over, they put a wreath on you, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. somebody plays you a little song. Right. And all the tables around you just have to suck it up, okay? Right. Play faster if oh, you don't want to be interrupted. Oh, they should stop and applaud briefly. Okay, but like a golf clap. They bring you a platter of succulent duck. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Why is duck? Man, I want some succulent duck right now, actually. <laughs> all right, my number nine. So I want it in my tournament to have a racing game, and I really agonized over this because so many racing games have swaths of luck in them, yeah. and the ones that don't have a lot of luck can be excruciatingly long and yeah, slow and don't feel like a race. Yeah, so I kind of went in the middle. There's still a good amount of luck in this game, but I think it's a lot of fun, and it's also fairly, fairly new, and that would be Heat, Pedal mm. to the Metal. Yeah. Pedal to the Metal. Yeah, because hard to argue with this I, one. I might play base Heat here mm -hmm. without the extra cards everyone can draft, mm -hmm. but once you get past the first round, you then draft those cards. Mm -hmm. right? I like that. And okay. then it gets, it gets more intense. Yeah. It gets hotter. 
so to say. Yeah, this game looks oh, like okay. tailor made to be a, a tournament game to me. Yeah, and you got to go again. This is another one I got. There's some games even tournament my... rules in the box, basically, right? For See, what I would do one. is first round, everybody drafts, mm -hmm. and the winner from that table, from each table, play I don't know four or whatever. The winner goes to a winner's table, another winner's table. But you have to take somebody else's hand, like the winner from that table. I get his drafted cards, and they get mine. Force him to play with somebody else's cards. Or you take the loser cards at your table. Whoever came in last place, those are the cards you go to the next oh, table with. Then you could send like an infiltrator you over could. and be like, go bomb that game. You could. Well, you shouldn't be playing with, but mm -hmm. yes. All right. Anyway. I like this one. This is a solid pick. I really like Heat. I think it's a lot of fun. Yes. Very good. My number nine. All right, my number eight is um, just happens to be my favorite game. So I would love to Nobody see this knows, in so a it's... tournament. I'm trying to remember what my favorite game is. All right, let me think here. It's, it's the big. one with the big dragon it's thing. It's the one that comes with the miniatures it's that you bold. put down and they make noise. Your tournaments are going to take forever. Dwellings of Eldervale, 24 hour day, 24 hour tournament. This would be a great tournament game. You could ah, again, you could again so long. draft. It's no longer than um, Dying. Wonderland's War. Actually, it's shorter than Wonderland's War. Sure, but you're arguing against yourself at that point. I still think that this is well. Look, they've had Ark Nova in in the World Series board gaming, right? It's coming up. This yes. is shorter than Ark Nova. 100% shorter than Ark Nova. And this also has varying factions that you could draft uh, for, but they're not so outrageous. You've never played the game, so don't shake I your played. head. I played. Oh, then you're wrong. Um, <laughs> this is great. This also has the thing that Istanbul has, where the no, way... No, don't the, try to throw in with me. Where <laughs> the way the favor. board shows up can change things, but I would make sure uh -huh. that everyone's playing on the same layout. Got it. For the, each particular round. Okay. I think this is the first out and out... Bad pick for this. I disagree. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not on your side. But I'm not opposed to you. Also, we need to do rock paper scissors. Oh, that's right. Okay. No. If if I win over Z, yeah. Then his point is absolutely invalid. Let's All go. Right. If Z wins over me, then his point is absolutely invalid. All Here right. we go. I'm good. Rock paper scissors. You suck. I'm invalid. What are you worried about? You are invalid. You're winning. Get cut. <laughs> it's 2-1-1. One, one. Yeah, I'm winning. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's all I'm going My for. My number eight is the unassailable pick, Dwellings of Eldervale. My number eight is a game that has a, <laughs> a game that has a bunch of dice, but you don't roll them, and it is very much a puzzle game. Again, I'm thinking a, a puzzle games would thrive in these kinds of settings. Mm -hmm. This is sentient. Oh, my sentient. goodness. Oh, I thought you were going to say Sagrada. For, I love this game, but for a tournament game? For a tournament, yes. It's got area control. Yeah. It's pure, puzzly, dice manipulation. Yeah. The dice are really just counters. They're not dice. You roll them like, at the beginning of the game. Okay. Um, which cards you take and where they go have to, again, they modify those dice around them. You're trying to get the highest score possible. You're trying to get this whole picture to sing together. And on top of that, oh. there's some area control that's happening. As you take cards and draft them, you're leaving your little people there, yeah. and they work towards an area control thing. Yeah, and it's short, too. That's the it main is. reason I picked it. I feared <laughs> somebody might be picking games that are... Uh, Assailably long. Let's see. My, th there's no other game on my list. This. Um, so, my biggest problem with this pick <laughs> yeah. is that I don't know that you'd be able to find enough copies of this to run a tournament, and or players who want to enter it. That's fair. <laughs> I like Sentient a lot. No, I don't mean that in a negative way, but I yeah, do yeah. think like I'll tell you I, what. I, I think like, people uh -huh. who like math. Math, mm -hmm. yes, actually. People who like this game yes. are exactly the kind of people who want to enter tournaments. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's going to be a fun tournament. I'm saying it's going to be, it's gonna be a challenging tournament. Like People who are playing this game at a tournament yeah. are going to be bringing the heat. There's going to be... Uh, that was my pick. Now, they're going to be like smoke out of the ears kind of action, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Unassailable, sentient, number eight. My tournament has two 
two player games because I like two player games. I think they work well in the tournament. Wait, 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 two you player have two, games. Two, two, two of my two on the, two of my ten are two player games. Oh, gosh, I don't think I even considered two player. Well, games. Well, yeah, but two player games make great tournaments. They're Do you have any one, one player games? Narrow them down. <laughs> that would be hilarious, but no. Um, and I wanted one that would appeal to the Magic the Gathering crowd. Yeah. So in this one, okay. I know what it is. What Here is we it? go. It's Rift Force. It is not, isn't oh, that, it? Oh, that's a really good choice. Uh, no, it's Summoner Wars. Oh, you get to bring see, I, this, I think this is again a bad choice. How do you pick factions? No, this one you pick your faction. You bring in whatever faction you want, and you stick with that faction to the end. No, what are you talking about? How is that any different than Magic: The Gathering? <laughs> you build your own deck. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. It doesn't feel as fair. Oh. Balderdash. That's a different game. <laughs> Rock, My number seven right is now. Balderdash. <laughs> no, I think that... I think this is... Actually, they... Could I've you have seen two, a tournament of this one. Could run. you have two of the same faction facing off? Yeah, yeah easy. Yeah, you can do that, yeah. This is fine. I just, again, it's something I personally avoided, but I get it. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, and this one... This one is a quick game. You go through, and I, I just think it plays really well. And the factions are Im so incredibly balanced. I think it's interesting we keep mentioning it's a quick game. Is that really uh, something that, that you need at a tournament? I mean, yes. I might prefer it, but when I look at what games are run as tournaments, they're usually not really short games. You think? Yes. I don't know. I think some of the most... Read the games at the World Series of Board Gaming again that they're doing. I feel like this is a trap. No, no. Here. I really... I, I want to kind okay, of... Okay. Seven Wonders. That's, Azul. That's short. Um, Patchwork. That's short. Cascadia. You're picking all the short ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's not f okay. Start and then we'll end with the other ones. Okay, okay fine. Acquires that not long. Arc Nova's long. Is long. Brass is long. Long. Burgundy's normal. Uh, Dune Imperium can long. be long. It depends. Gaia Project super long. short. Long. Super short. Terraforming Mars. Long. And then the other ones are all middle. Tickets ride See? wingspan. There's a few long ones. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I agree though that I. I I would prefer to play short I games. I err on the side of make them shorter, yes. Mm -hmm. well, let's see. Let's see if they get shorter. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Bam! Hey, we're tie again. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Never two, trust two, two. rock. All right. My number seven is a game that it already has tournament rules that have been developed by the game designer and the community, which this has a sizable community, this game, has done many tournaments. I've never played in a Root tournament, but my number seven is Root. And this is one where, like Z says, there's got to be a way to handle it, but they've already come up with it. I don't know exactly what it is, because like I said, I've never played a root tournament. Hey, hey, so you pick root, you know there's a way to handle it, you didn't bother to do the, the minimum amount of research to figure that out? No, I read that there are tournament rules that Cole Worley suggested. Yeah, but I need to know what they are. Well, get me a computer and I'll read off BGG. <laughs> I got you a computer. That's true. No, I didn't want to read into all of it, because honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if there were rules already. I could see how this game, already they've got built into the system what's called reach values and each faction has a particular reach value and you would have to use that within the context of a, of a tournament. I'm sure it works. I'm just very, I am very yeah, curious. Yeah. Like you, you can't come in with a faction for this one. You're going to play one of four, maybe Something. six. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how many you, factions you, you, are you, showing. Right, exactly. But, but this game I think is tailor-made for this. This is going to lead to, again, in a, it's already in a normal setting, a game with it's a war game. I mean, let's be right. clear. It's a war game, and in a tournament setting, that is really going to be multiplied, right? And and so mm -hmm. a game like this, which has such a strong asymmetric nature, you've got different maps you can play on, you've got all of these different factions, you've got other things that have been added to the game throughout the years, like hirelings that could be part of it. it this is just a great, I think, a tournament game overall, but it's especially good because it's already been kind of developed. There are root tournaments that, that go on all the time. So my number seven is root. Hmm. That's super fancy. What do you got? I know. Uh, my number seven is uh, a game kind of like Seven Wonders, so I figured this would work well. Okay. And this is Hadara. I think Hadara hmm. would be a fun tournament. There is... 
I love this choice. This a, is a great choice. A nice choice. amount of simultaneous selection, but it's not. We're not really getting in each other's way by simultaneously selecting things. Mm -hmm. You know, so again, it's it's you get got each other's way a little bit on the second half where I, you buy that card. Well, I really there's want turns. It. You take turns. I know, yeah. but I'm still sad when you take what I want. Oh, absolutely. But this is one that I think would go over really well. Very Euroy, very mathy. Yes, but fun build, nice trajectory. I love a game that at the end you look down and you go, look at everything I did and mm. made and built and accomplished. This gives you that. Um, yeah, it's a very similar pick in my mind to a Seven Wonders or something okay. like that, but it is fun and tense. And it does have those moments of turn angst in which you go, I need this because my cards won't survive unless I have more room for cards. But oh wait, I need to build a statue this round, so I need that card too. But hold on, I can't support that card. No, you can't get that card. It's 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 very fun. It's a great game. Um, scales well too, so that's not going to be a problem. You know, you can play this with a full player count mm -hmm. and have a good time with it. So, very much a uh, a pick I would put in my tournament. Hadara. It's a good pick. It's a good you like pick. that one? Yeah, I like that. Have you played Hadara? I have. Yeah, I love Hadara. Mm -hmm. Me too. It's my number good... seven is one I kind of struggle with. Maybe it should be in my list or not because this is longer than the other games on my list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Attack Mike. <laughs> but it's not nearly as long as Mike's game, so I'm fine. <laughs> and that is Orleon. That's, that's, that game lasts forever. It's a four-hour game. It is not a four-hour uh, game. Maybe not. So this is a uh, pool-building game, the cooperative version. <laughs> you beat it or you don't. Game. No, I like this game a lot, and it's very, again, very interactive. You're pulling stuff from a bag, and I do wonder if a tournament set, uh, setting would hurt this a lot, because you're sitting yeah. there like, ooh, should I put this here, yeah, here? Mm -hmm. a, yeah, there is a lot of that. And then suddenly, tournament, I'll spend more time thinking about my turn. Mm -hmm. But you could also put a timer on those. Yes. But I like this game. It's, again, fairly interactive in the sense that we're fighting on that board for those resources, mm -hmm. and moving, you know, there's only going to be so many tokens tokens that you can get sure. to throw in your bag. Right. I like it, and it's a classic. It has proved the test of times. So this is one that would work well. Man, they really need new art in that cover. Yeah, they but do. What do you mean? It's great. It's, uh, it's something. You know, we were joking a second ago about cooperative tournament games, but they have run, you both have played a pandemic tournament. No, I played with Eric. Have you oh. done one? No, I watched it. So I thought that was a great idea, yeah. and I tried to think of another cooperative game right. that I would want that in, because I wanted to stick one in, and I could not think of one. Yeah, I've got one coming up. Do you? Oh, ooh. I will tell you, I I have one with a couple not. of twists coming up. Oh, ooh, is it Twister? Cooperative Twister? Ooh. Actually, that's the game we don't talk about. Let's continue on. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Oh, we're doing it. We're all it. tied. Ready? Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. I got Tom. Z no, got it's me. a tie. No yeah. one gets anything. No one gets anything. I'm winning then. Six no, points. we're still tied. Two, two, two. two. You, okay. you don't win Great. ties. You got nothing. I don't know how this works. All right. <laughs> so now you can all get off my back about the long games. Rock, paper, scissors. This one is a... Well, this, see, this, so. is, this is definitely, uh, definitely shorter than... Uh, Dutch Blitz. Hadara. Oh, that would be hilarious. Definitely shorter than Hadara. Okay. Definitely shorter Madeira. than Millie Fiori. Madeira. My number six is Paladins of the West Kingdom. Get out of my face with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not a, you better bring a bag lunch when you go to Mike's tournament. That's Prince. right. Oh, Look, you're not when kidding. you come to my <laughs> tournament, when you come to my tournament, I guarantee you hours of fun, hours of competition. You're not going to be done 10 minutes after you walk into there. That's the other thing, right? You play these short games, you lose the first round, you're out. What are you going to do for the next eight hours? Watch other people succeed. No. You come here, even if you're terrible, you're at least going to get five, six good hours <laughs> of being terrible. Okay, so all joking aside, I asked someone one time, mm -hmm. the, they went to a, a, a tournament, a, a convention at the tournaments, yeah. and I said, why would you play in such a long game? And then you lose, and they said, but I don't even care if I win or lose. They said, I went into the tournament so I could play with people who really like playing the game, the game well. know the game, yep. and play it well. If I win, 
I get to do it Amazing. again. Yep. And if I lose, I had a really solid game. And I learned something. And so, I saw. Yeah. yeah. This is like this is the for the short short. This is the short round in Mike's tournament. Yeah, exactly. pretty much. Play a yeah. good round of Paladins. Paladins is you know in a four player game you're probably talking two so hours. You're admitting it's that Paladins outrageous. is better than Viscounts. In a tournament setting, yes. In for all sure. settings, actually, it is. Yes, I have I have Paladins ranked higher than than Viscounts. I did in my last top 100. Okay. Nobody watched that. <laughs> <laughs> we were in it. They skimmed past you. Can't, you can't you watched that. it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You yeah, haven't right. watched it. Paladins actually, I think, would be a very good tournament game because it it, 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 it has enough interaction that you have to be watching what other people are doing, but you also get to have you know some good focus on yourself. There you go. My number six, Paladins of the West Kingdom for you Euro lovers out there. And a lot of Euro gamers like tournaments. No, that's true. That's actually a lot of my games. I think that's mm -hmm. why they fall in there. Though my six is different. My six is would slot if I was creating sort of a sister convention to the World Series of board games, uh, board gaming. I um, this one would take the spot of like a ticket to ride. It's another Canizia, actually. This is a great pig, Z. Thank you. So you're saying this would take the, the place of Ticket to Ride? This would take the place of Ticket to Ride. It's got a nice dollop of luck in it. Mm -hmm. It's like Ticket to Ride. The cards you're getting is are lucky. The Lost Cities board game? The Lost Cities, the board game, which I'm calling Celtus. Celtus, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this would be a good tournament game. Yeah, I like this call. You know, play four players. Yep. Yes, it's quick. Kind of. This is a little bit of a lower stakes one, as opposed to a lot of the other ones we're mentioning here. But you do have these tracks where you see the bonuses coming up. Mm -hmm. So there is some forward planning there. Yeah. You need to decide which thing am I making an investment in? How much do I push my, you know, push my uh, cards in that direction? How long do I wait until I draw the needed one? It's like kind of, kind of like Lost Cities, but multiplayer. Yep. Um, and then you've also got very important rule, you have that one token that is the doubler. Yeah. And when you commit that one to one of the tracks, whatever your score ends up being, positive or negative, is doubled with that one. Yes. So that's a big deal. So yeah, in my head I was like, oh, Celtus would be fun. I, this is a, this is one I would enter. I would definitely play Would you enter tournament. a Lost Cities tournament? The card game? No. I don't think I would. Because that's a... It's way I, more intimidating than this. Yes. It is brutal and bloody. That's what really I'm saying. Is. But that's yeah. the one I would pick. And it's I only one that. person, too. So that's very intimidating. Yes, that like Head-to-head, -head, you know, it's us two. Right. And four players, I'm like, I'm not doing so well. But so neither is this idiot over here or whatever. Wow. Let me tell you what. Not wow. you. I'm playing with somebody else. If we're playing in a Lost Cities tournament, yeah. right, my move is to sit down at the table, yeah. deal out the cards, I'm not saying a single word to that person the entire game. I'm going to be staring at them intently. Right. I'm going to be doing this. <laughs> Why? Why? You could not do that. Why? You would break down in sadness after a while. What's the reason? Explain I it to me. I want them to feel uncomfortable. They will be if they're sitting at a table with you. I want them to. I want them to be out of their element. I want them to question everything that's happening Again, in their Again, all this has already happened. Not just the game. I want them to be questioning everything about themselves. Interesting. All right. This is getting very real. Anyway, <laughs> Celtus is a lot more casual <laughs> than that. <laughs> I'm uh, glad Mike's running the tournament and not entering that. Yeah. Oof. I'm going to do both. My number six is one of the first ones I thought of because this is a game that I would easily play and very similar to Z's thing of Istanbul with the random setup and you reference the game and that's Dominion. Okay. I did it. I did it. This was my pick too then. Same thing. Um... Ten random cards, mm -hmm. and everyone gets the same cards. And it would yeah. be a semi-random set that had some parameters. Like, if you use those randomizers, you could do parameters. Like, you don't have too many of one price cards or yeah, whatever. Yeah, Sure, okay. You right. know, you don't have some cards that only so many attack cards or whatever. And I think that that would work really well, because everyone in the whole tournament is playing with those same. Yeah. Next round, ten completely different cards. And you would tell people beforehand, these are the sets the cards can come from. But there's no possible way they will know the exact combination because the combinations are like sure. infinity sure. number of possibilities. Okay. Infinity I like that. times infinity. I like that, Tom. Mm -hmm. Here's what I would do. My one change for this tournament. Yeah. Okay. I would play a variant. Yes. Slightly. That mm -hmm. gave everyone equal turns. Because there's a pretty, in a yeah. tournament setting, that first player advantage. Yeah, yeah. 
I've seen it happen okay. enough times where first players won, and in a casual game, I don't care. Right. It's minor. Like, oh, you won by three points. Mm -hmm. But in, in a tournament, everyone will get the same amount of points. The cards would still run out, so there's still a slight per person. There's a problem. There's a mm. problem there. But you could still it's buy not a, a three-point card. Game, it's like, yeah. I think what you're insinuating. No, that's not what I'm saying. It was my number two this year. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay, two tournaments. Okay, let's hear it. At one table, Dominion. Okay. At a table approximately eight feet away, flip chips, and you're you're flicking the flip it. chips onto the Dominion table. Any pile you land on can no longer be purchased from. And whoever landed on the most piles from the flip ship side, they win. Okay? Two tournaments running at each other. Follow me with this. Yes. You've got a Dominion table. Yes. Eight feet away, you've got a coconuts table. Roy. Every coconut that hits a player, Roy, go to they're the next, eliminated. Go to the next number, Roy. <laughs> go to the next Roy, number. Go to the next number. <laughs> coconuts! <laughs> Still tied. Here Ready? we go. Rock, Talk, paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. You got gang, 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 gang. I haven't tried it. <laughs> All right, it's three, two, three. All right. Fantastic. My number five. Hey, uh, I'm not sure you're aware of this, but right now we are in the midst of a trick-taking renaissance. Oh, yes. good, because you never bet you that. It's a trick-taking renaissance, folks. It's not only Christmas in July, it's also a trick-taking renaissance. And I thought, uh -huh. you know, actually, actually, I think trick-taking games are great for tournaments because this happens all the time, just well, with standard things. You like, need to mention the one because a lot of trick-taking games are partnership games, and that would not be as good unless you're letting two people win. This is not a partnership game. Okay. Yeah. So, but I mean, like, there's a lot of, like, classic trick-taking games you played, is you know, growing is up. Is it cooperative? No. Co come on. Is it a cat in a box? Bing! And my number five is Cat in a Box. Yes, it's new, but I think this would be a great trick-taking game because not only do you have the trick-taking element, but yes. you've also got that little area control thing going on in the board, and I think that that would significantly raise the stakes in a tournament setting. Yes, this um, is a great pick. Yeah, I, I, this was one of the first ones I thought of. It's not just because it's new and hip. There's a lot of trick-taking games that you could choose, right? I just think this one, really, the reason why I picked this one, it's not even the hook of choosing what the suit is when you play it. It's more that central player board mm -hmm. area control little thing that, that, that is the hook for a tournament setting. So, I agree, right. That's where the scoring really is at. Right, exactly. So I think, and it's fast, you know, I, I, think, I think Cat in the Box would be a really, really fun tournament game. It's such a weird game, such a bizarre game. It is. Where the hook really works. It does work. There's so many trick thinking games where they try to do something new and something new and something new. Yes. And sometimes you look at it and go, yeah, it's new. But is it any good? Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. But this is both. That's, mm -hmm. that's rare. That is rare. Yep. This is a good pick, Mike. This Thank is you. not trash. Well, I'll take that. My number five is one of the longer games on my list. Oh, boy. I wanted to put, again, a good, solid, Euro-y kind of game in here um, from my favorite designer, who is Bruno Catala. Oh, but this I can't be what you think it is, what I think it might it's be. It's not what you think. It's okay. the other one, I think. Oh, Yamatai. Yeah, that's, that's talking on a different level right there. <laughs> okay, it's, most people would be like, oh, he's about to say five tribes. Right. That would be a good choice. Yeah. I don't know if that'd be I'm a good I'm not making game. a good choice. I'm making a <laughs> clever choice here. Yamatai. No! No one wants to play Yamatai. Okay, people want to take their turns. Kenny has a 17 tournament? copies of Yamatai. He loves it. <laughs> a tournament. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a tournament he for five for tribes. Tournament. Yes. Yeah, he, could, he can be the supplier, official supplier. A tournament for five tribes, I feel like, would be real nail pulling. I agree. Just the AP would everybody be looking outrageous. down and, and people drawing graphs. I don't want to deal with those. You'd people. have to have a timer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want one that's going to be a little bit faster. And mm -hmm. th this closes that decision space. Not that there are fewer decisions. Mm -hmm. There's smaller areas to look at. You can make choices a little bit faster. I love the characters. Again, I was avoiding. Maybe I didn't need to, but I did it for myself. Mm -hmm. Starting with special abilities. It was a thing that I felt, well, it might be like 
known that, that oh, this faction has a 3% chance they're more likely to win, and blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear blah, it. Blah, 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 blah. But in this game, you can you can buy special mm -hmm. powers in-game. Right. So you'll be doing crazy stuff that other players aren't doing, but you got to get it in the game, during right. the game. Right, right, right. So that's why I thought, okay, this one I can, I can work with, because this one's going to feel a little more fair to me. Okay. okay. The Tournament of the Fair. That's what my uh, tournament is going to be. It's going to be a tournament and a fair. You're going to be able to it's you're gonna gonna have very elephant confusing. ears. Cotton candy, baby. Cotton candy. Mm. You're going to have fried mm. oil. Mm. That's correct. Flip be ships. Hog races. You, you know, can play this while riding on the Crazy Mouse. Mm. Oh, I like that. <laughs> you would not like that. <laughs> have you been oh, in the Crazy Mouse lately? I, I don't know what a Crazy Mouse is. The mouse? It's the, yeah. The teacups? The spinning about? thing. No, right? the, the little roller coaster that has not very steep drops, but spins you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that's gross. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't get on that. Yeah, I know. I like my lunch. All right. My number five has very little luck in it. Okay. Um, almost none other than the board set up at the beginning, and I think it would make a great, great tournament game. And another Reiner Kinesia game. God, yes. that man, has I already guessed. I purposely only put one Kinesia game. Well, on yeah, list. but that's but you I, give me I, grief. But I picked very different styles. Yeah. Really Fury is the light one. Yeah, this one's also light, but has much heavier strategy. And that's Through the Desert. Okay, Through the Desert, amazing. Yeah. game here. This and would be a great tournament game. It's like a it tournament really go. Would. I mean, it's yeah, gonna yeah. have the, that kind of level. Yep. Yeah, but also I don't think it's that long. Like. With Go... Well, no, it's not long at all, no. but you do have to make sure, I would, anyway, that the setup, the random setup on the board is the same for yes. each table, probably. Like, wherever the five-point tokens I don't, are... I don't know if it's as important because you're not comparing scores from table to table. That's fair. That's okay. fair. Okay. okay. Right. And no one can say, well, I wasn't ready. I mean, it's just... I, I mean, I might put the palm trees in the same spots or whatever, but... Yeah. yeah. Um, this is actually being reprinted this year, which is, is exciting, so you keep an eye out for that. But, man... Z and I played a, a Go similar game the other day. Yeah, Go and Chase. It was a small version. Mm -hmm. And in this small version, we were like, ooh, trying to put the pieces out. Big Go, you sit there and you're like, it, it, the board, which is a big board, yeah. just feels overwhelming. And through the desert, you're like, I'm going to make this line of camels longer because I'm going to take this little reward now. Yeah. I'm going to connect to this oasis. I'm just going to make this line longer. I'm going to try to cut Z off over here. It's still thoughtful, sure. but I feel like I can focus on it. Mm. So I think it would make a good tournament. I think it would make a good That's game. a solid pick. That's a great choice. That's my number five. Wow. We just had 666 watt viewers. That's oh, frightening. Oh, the devil's views. All right, guys, I got to catch up here. Ready? Walk, One, paper, two, scissors, scissors. Bam, son! You oh, got no, cut. No, 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 no! You got cut. I'm at 12 points. Or it's six, four, six. three, two. Four, mm. three, two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm winning. You are winning. All right. My number four game is a game that in its regular, you know, uh, environment, just around a table with players, already leads to incredible interaction, angst, uh, this feeling of tension, right? It's a game that has some high tension. In a tournament setting, Dogs of War would be ridiculous. Mm. I would love to see Dogs of War played in a tournament setting where you have to make temporary alliances with people. You might have to break and, and have a little bit of betrayal going on. It's a tug of war going on in these different areas. If you've played um, Blitzkrieg, you can see the etymology of that from this game, Dogs of War. But uh, man, I think this would be a spectacular, and it's not very long, right? It ha doesn't have a lot of rules. It really, it's a sandbox to get into a psychological type of a space. Hmm. This is a game with a very psychological uh, kind of overarching feel to it. And you're, you, both of you are, I don't know, I can't read how No, no, thinking. no, I think this would be a very different tournament with yeah. a game like this. Mm -hmm. I think I would wait till they come out with the inevitable revised reprint. It does feel like there's gonna, that's going to be a thing, right? 
Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think it will happen, right? Yeah, yeah. I think someone's going to take it and revise it and maybe make it a reasonable size because it's way overproduced. It is. Well, but right now, especially it's like it a Paolo Mori renaissance it happening is. right yep. now. Trick-taking renaissance. Paolo Mori Renaissance. And it's July. We, and may, be, about Christmas Christmas July. we yeah. may be throwing the word Renaissance out a little too <laughs> no, liberally. No, 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 no. <laughs> no um, this is a great, I think this would be a great tournament game. Because again, it already almost feels like one when you're just playing it with your friends, right? It has that, I don't know, just, to me this game just brings out so much, like, tension but in a good way, right? Like, I, I, yeah. I don't feel like uncomfortable, but I'm just like, ooh, who, who, can I trust this person? No. I kind of have to trust them, but I don't mm. want to. Can they trust me? Mm, no. Maybe, maybe not. You know, I, I think this I, would be I great. I play games, my, the, the trust factor is very low right very now. Very low. This is outrageous. We, we played a negotiation game the other night, and he turns into, uh, the best way I could describe it is a Z. I uh, it was uncomfortable. Let's just say, uh, we, we, we played Zuvatis, and... Uh, it brought out different sides of me. Mm-hmm. Mm okay, you well, want, let's never talk about it again, please. You don't want to... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to be on the other side. <laughs> evil. Z <laughs> All right, guys. My number four is a game I have not spoken of or probably even thought about in quite a while, but when it came across my screen mm -hmm. as I was doing my research, I thought, huh, this would be a funny kind of tournament. This might be neat to watch. I would even watch. What happens when you take this game and you raise the stakes? Right. That's so funny. Yeah. Fearsome floors. Ah. Oh, I think it would be really long. I like the idea of fearsome floors with everybody who has a team of characters mm. escaping from a monster run by, if I dare say it, AI. Mm. Okay. Hunting you down. Mm -hmm. And you are trying to escape, traverse this map and escape. The amount of nastiness that would happen as you like <laughs> run across the map and yeah. hide behind somebody else's person, mm -hmm. hoping that they get noticed by the monster and eaten and sent back to the beginning. Right. Uh, after the second half, cool. during the second half of the game, your if your pieces get grabbed during the first half, you're trying to traverse from one corner of this map to the other. You get reset to the mm -hmm. beginning. But at the second half of the game, after the deck of, of you know, baddie cards has go been gone through ones, if you're caught, you're out. Yeah. So you have fewer people on the map. And I just, I don't know, that attrition, I think, would be really funny to watch. That would really be Really interesting. Funny, yeah. Again, with the stakes being high, people just booking it for the exit. The monster, you flip over the card that says... He's not moving three or five <laughs> or seven. He's moving until he kills. <laughs> and he'll just keep, no, kills. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just thought this would be a really funny, interesting, bizarre I'm just worried tournament. that it could drag in and out. You'd have to have a timer of some sorts. Yeah, absolutely. For every minute you take above one minute, one of your digits is removed. Okay, my number four is another two-player game. Um, the first one I want to, one that would appeal to match it to gathering people. Sure. Yes. And right. this one I want to appeal to the chess crowd. Oh, Although yes. through the desert does that a bit. And so I picked my go to game that oh, I always pick in this come regard. Come on, man. What? For the crown, that stupid for the crown game. The Duke? No, 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 no. El Yinch. Duco? Yinch. Yinch. Oh, a, Yinch is a good just one. Just a straightforward. Mm. No, I didn't pick for the crown. That's insanity. And the Duke <laughs> is a little too. Messy, I think. Okay. For for a tournament. All right. There'd be a lot of rules questions. Not time for that. Yeah, yeah. No but time for that. Yinch, which they, right. will show up on here eventually, um, is the. Uh, I don't know. This was made for tournaments. I mean, all the. Well, that's series also were. that's kind of why I didn't put it on my list. Oh, I'm sorry. I. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm mean, too fine. good it's of a, a choice. <laughs> no, it's a great game. Yeah. I think it's a great pick. But anything I looked at and I thought. That's it's too like obvious. made for it's, it's too made obvious. for tournaments. <laughs> like it literally has like the letters and the numbers for right. the grid. Right. It's a two-player head-to-head abstract game. Okay, well that's the only one I did that was like. Well, this. you messed up on one then. Wow. That's not Come so bad. on, you have a top nine. I, I did wrong so well. I'm wrong. But to Rock, be honest, paper, scissors, shoot. Except for the ones that I cross over with Tom, I wouldn't have picked any of his because I thought, well, sure, that's obvious, right? I mean, of course, anyone's going to put that on their list. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> 
I don't care. I don't care. I'm sorry I'm not picking obscure games that no one will show up to because they don't know the rules to. I mean, anybody who says that, especially at the start of this video, is a big dummy. Mm. Oh, sorry. Hey, Dan. Dummy. Dan Hughes. Yeah. Dan's already with us. Yeah, Dan's already been causing all kinds of drama in the... In Mike wouldn't let me use the, the permit marker on his shirt. <laughs> all right. You don't need Let's to. Let's go to number three. It already looks defaced. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right, here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Yeah, I'm back in the game, baby! Four, three, three. Yes! Outrageous. I'm, I'm still gonna crush it. I only have I'm two more. I only have two more chances. All right, my number three was one of the first games I thought for this because push your luck as a mechanism is already so delicious. I love push your luck as a mechanism Ooh, in a tournament a setting. Push your luck. Tournament. How is that going to change the psychology of the players, mm -hmm. who maybe would be much more likely to just go go nuts because ah, I lose the game, I lose the game. If there's money on it, if there's a big juicy ring, how can't stop? Can't stop is my number three. Ooh, that would be interesting with this money would on the be line. Great. I would not do my line. normal strategy. Nobody would. No, I don't but think. maybe I would. Maybe you would. I think this would be great. I think the, this pure push your luck. Nothing else gets in the mm. way. It is strictly push your luck. I like this. I you would play can, in this tournament. You can literally count the odds, right? There are certain players that know the odds of every roll they make, basically. Well, it's not that hard. No, I'm not Watch saying your it mouth, is. But mathematician for me, it is that, for me, it is that hard. <laughs> but you make this something that involves money. Yes. I would love to see the way people played Kansas. Oh, I would love to get that money. That's correct. Yeah, this was one of the first things I thought of. That would be a great tournament game, seeing how people, who's going to take the risk, who's going to be the, the safe, you know, sl steady and slow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I Can't Stop, I think, is made for a position like this. I agree. I like it. Mm -hmm. oh, such a good pick, Mike. That's you. a good pick. Right. That, you have, you have uh, redeemed validated myself. one of your previous picks. All right, You can good. pick which one. <laughs> okay, good. We'll Every make that day. one uh, to count for... Uh, Clans of Elder Juice. Dwellings of Elder Vale, yeah, sure. That's it, that's it. Dwellings of Dunky Juice. <laughs> Clans, the Clans of Ever Juice is what I said. I can't remember what it was called. <laughs> Clans Whatever, of the Dragon Juice. One. Yeah. The main thing I remember about that game is when they had the super deluxe version. With the sounds? They had these bases <laughs> that you put the mini on. Yeah. And as you moved it. It would growl. It would <laughs> like hit the ground, hit the hit the board shake, and make a noise. Fantastic. Like, are you kidding me? That was great. This is insanity. It was beautiful. All right, my number two. Uh, number three, I'm sorry. Mm. My number three is my weirdest pick, I think, and it is a... I'm not saying something. <laughs> yeah, it it's a cooperative game. Okay. That... I really want to think about this. Well, here's the thing, okay? Here's how I would run this tournament. Okay. To enter this tournament, mm -hmm. it needs to be you and three people you bring with you. Okay? <laughs> it's teams. <gasps> You're entering as teams. And I'm going to have you... This is like the rally... Rally racing, kind of. Mm -hmm. It's it's the way that sport is structured in board games. Captain Sonar? No, it's Magic Maze. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm gonna gosh, give oh, you. So this is your cooperative game, but you'd yeah. have to police the communication thing. You'd have to have somebody at every single table. Oh, 100 percent. There's a, an armed guard at That's every table. That's what I want to okay? see. That's what I want to see. You have four people. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to enter as a team. Yes. You are you win as a team. Mm -hmm. We give you a random setup that every table has the same thing, and you're all on the clock at the same time, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, this is the way you, like like rally racing, what we're counting here is how long it took you. Yeah. Not whether you won or lost. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh. And I think this can't work. I think this would 100% work. How are you going to stop people, and it yeah. wouldn't be me, yeah. from making a prearranged set of signals? There we what go. What do you mean? Uh, yeah, every you, time I push you, my glasses up, I'm telling Mike to move forward or whatever. Mike yeah. doesn't even know what position he's going to be. <laughs> I know, but I can have the glasses mean Mike. Or, or I could just be, this means make the guy go forward, whoever that person is. 
Would you feel comfortable it... taking that risk if there was a man standing b- uh, behind you that had <laughs> Gar- Gar- a sock full of quarters? <laughs> he's going to shoot Thank you. Okay? I, didn't go, I didn't go the gun route. I went with what? the sock full of quarters route. <laughs> I agree, yeah. I like. I push my glass. Wham! Wow. Okay. <laughs> what did I do? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think this you would work. can't prove nothing. <laughs> this would be... Very weird, and I would, would love to weird. see a tournament mm. of magic oh, maze I would tables. Watch it. I'd watch it, yeah. Where the four people are, they begin as friends for sure. <laughs> but I wonder how many of those tables would leave as friends. No, they're all they all. You hate know each what I mean? They I, all hate each other. I bring in three people. I'm like, I hope you all have a ride home, <laughs> Mike. All you had to do was use the escalator, <laughs> and I put the thing in front of you. And then you stared at me. I'm sorry. Find a new hotel room. That's outrageous. Oh, I don't know. I um. Yeah, this is very exciting to me. I would love to watch this happen. Mm. I think it's a weird idea to have to enter as a group. Yes. To have to be on the clock is how yeah. you compete. I like that I aspect. like my Captain Sonar idea better. All right, well, you should have put Captain Sonar on your list. I should have. My number three is my one of my silliest games, but I think this would be fun to see done. I, I've i never seen a, a Liar's Dice. That's not my game. Liar's Dice tournament. But I heard that everyone's slamming their cups on the table at the yeah. same time is fun. So this would loud. let me do the same thing. And this game is played pretty light. It's my Katala pick. And oh. this is Dice, Dice Town. Town. Yeah. I, I think Dice say. Town would be yes. hilarious to, mm-hmm. yes, to see good. played. Because you're you're making pretty quick decisions. You want to pay a dollar, and, and there's the luck of rolling the dice. But sure, sure. You get to decide what you're doing. This is gambling, right? I mean, that's another nice part of it's, this. This would appeal maybe to the poker people. Thank you, yeah. Sandre, for the super chat. Yes. Um, yeah, I think the... Yeah, again, people like poker and stuff like that, and I think this would work. Yeah, this would be And great. rolling dice, this would and it would be, be loud and raucous. This would be it a tournament. Would be. You would not put this next to the Yinch tournament. No. Nah. No. Nah. You'd scare all the inchies off. <laughs> <laughs> so my number three, dice down. Good pick. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. Bing, ging, 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 ging. What am I at? You're at five. Five, four, five, four. four. No, he's at three. Five, four, three. Yeah. I can't win. Yep. Unless we make the final round two points. No, we can't. <laughs> In my tournament, we can. <laughs> Dang it, he's right. He's right. Yeah. My Possibly number two. Might the final one. Yeah, right. My <laughs> number two would have a stipulation. It would have to be five player games only. <sighs> That's tough, Mike. Why? Because this game shines at five. It is my favorite five-player game out there. I think it would be a great... No, Raw is your favorite five-player game. I don't think Raw is best at five. <gasps> I really don't. You lie. I don't think it's best at five. What number is the best at? I honestly love Raw at three. It's better at five. Mm, I don't know. All right. Well, anyway, what is this? Smartphone Inc. Oh. This would be a great tournament game. So good because already you have so many things that you are competing over. You're competing over those technologies. Turn order already is agonizing in this game. In a tournament setting, turn order would be brutal because, you know, the idea in this game is you're selling phones to customers. So there's a bit of, a, of a, an area majority to it where you're going to get first shot. You're going to get more points types of things if you are in control of that area. But also... The people that price their phones the cheapest are the first to sell, right? And so that whole element of it would be so good. Also, for a game like this, it is fast. A five-player game, and I assume people well, that are playing it. not a tournament setting, but yes. I don't, still don't think this would be more than an hour, 15 minutes, maybe. I don't think you've ever seen people playing a tournament before then. I guess, but I mean, this game is boom, boom, boom. The most of the time is taken setting up your player pads to figure out what your actions are going to be. But once right. you've done that, it's just boop, 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 you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah boom, so, boom, so boom, boom, boom. I think this would be a great tournament game at five. All right. Z. Exactly. My number two. <laughs> um, my number two falls back in line with some of the other Euro games. It's mathy. It's puzzly. Mm. I really like it because it's a pretty new game, so I'm still very much enamored with it. Um, mm. 
If it's evergreen, I think evergreen would oh. be a good Ooh, I, tournament game. You do like game. this game. I think the, the fun of having to maximize your score over those four rounds mm -hmm. of where the sun is shining from, how you organize your trees so that they don't block each other and keep each other from getting sunlight, the fact that that card drafting gives the last player some interesting powers. Yeah, that's true. Where that what they leave there has you know a very important value. Where you're drafting, uh, you're drafting cards basically, and the last player has a choice between two, and the one they take is important for them, but the one they leave might affect the whole table. I really like that. I think this is again a game in which there's certainly a nice amount of interaction with that stuff. But I feel like at the end of the game, you're going to feel like you're playing against yourself in many ways. And at, okay. when you're done with this tournament, if you lost, you will be able to think back on your game and go, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have put these here, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew the sun was going to come around. This was dumb. I shouldn't have done this. Yeah, I could yeah. have avoided that, whatever, whatever. Right. And I like that in tournaments. I like that it's you can take put that on yourself a little bit. It's not always about, oh yeah, I was playing with some jerk and I, I got hosed. Yeah, yeah. You know? There certainly could be that, and if you're particularly good at projecting, you can certainly pull it off. Um, feel free to try. <laughs> but I think Evergreen is going to put some of that back on you. Yeah, it's interesting because some people in the chat are mentioning photosynthesis. I would not no, to play no, 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 no. I would actually refuse to play that I would one because I think you can jerkify that game. You can. I think that game is much more exploitable than ever. Yeah. Is. Yeah. This is the one. I, I would not put photosynthesis on here either. No. As I said, one of the World Series of board gaming games is Ticket to Ride. That would be one of my picks. Sure. Because I like getting that crowd of people to play kind of a fun sure. tournament. You could take the game yes. seriously. Yeah. So my replacement for that in my tournament would be Century Spice Road. Okay. Good. I thought you were going to say on the underground. All right. No, 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 no. I like on the underground, but I wouldn't put in a tournament because I think people would take too long on their turns. Yeah, they would. And it would take too long to figure out where to move the stupid guy. No, 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 no. Mike, the guy, it's possible that Mike hates on I the underground. I despise on the underground. No, the, the guy who's... The, there would be a, a pit boss. There'd have to be a And pit he moves boss. the lazy guy. Yeah, around. that shows he you... armed. Yeah, well, he's got a sack of quarters for sure. <laughs> this so, is a good pick. Were you hit with a sack of quarters as a kid? I don't know where this always shows up. I refuse to answer that question on the grounds that it might incriminate Roy. Give me your lunch money. Put it in his bag. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> My, Roy is anyway, cracking his knuckles. Century Spice Road is a really fun, simple game where you're just taking one action. You're playing a card. Mm -hmm. You are um, buying a card with resources that you have, or you are picking your cards up. Right. I like that. It's, it's, it's simple. It's fun. It's mm -hmm. easy. And I think this would be that tournament. You're like, well, I don't want to. I, I don't want to play people who take stuff too seriously. Right. And I'm sure people could take this game seriously. Yes, but I yes. think it would work really well. And being specific here, I don't care if you play Century Golem either. But the first one, I think, would be would the best one Golem. for the tournament. Yeah. No, I also think this is good because you can see what the resources other people have, so you can tell what cards they're likely to be going for, yes. and that angst would be even more amplified in a tournament thing where it's like, oh man, how do I get that card before them, you know? Good pick. All right, number two. Very good. Double points, double points, double points. Double Here points. We go. Right, so I, I That's need, my rule. I need to think about this before doing Even if I get double points, points, I tie you. All right. All right, here we go. Ready? Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Yes! I tied Z! No, I tied Z. You did not. It's 5-5-4. Five, five, oh, no, no. It's, it's doubled. No, it's 5-4-3. And I got two points. I got two, so it's 6-5-5. Five, five, five. Uh, yeah. I am the <laughs> champion. What? Did that work? I yes. I feel like I got robbed. You 100% got robbed. Okay. No time for Garcia. You got got number one for yeah, me yeah. is a is crossover. It a crossover. It is. Is it a crossover with me for once? It's a crossover with Thomas J. Vassar. Come on. 
Are you seeing well, this? He, already he said, beats me at rock, paper, scissors, and suddenly <laughs> can't be seen with me. Won't associate with oh, me. Oh, your lips sickens He me. said it. What oh, is, wait till I get my hands oh. on a sock filled with something. Are we going all the way back to the beginning, basically? We are. It's with a, this, is, this is a full circle choice. My number one is Heat. I think this game ah. is tailor-made for tournaments. Oh, I mean, interesting. It, this is, I think, a perfect tournament game because it feels like a race, but yes. it does not feel arbitrary, all right? Like, card play matters, the, the, the kind of the tempo and, and knowing when to press your luck and when not to press your luck. There is certainly luck involved, which I think you do want sometimes, unless you're doing an abstract game, mm. right? Um, I just think this is a fantastic tournament game because honestly, you could always have all the cards on the track too. It's so easy to run AI that if you wanted to have four people at the table, you can have a full slate of racers still. I suppose. The only thing is then you would not, you'd have to come up with a way, I mean, it probably would be the, the, the first place of the players, you know, that type of a thing. I don't know. Yes, I guess so, right. Yeah. I would just try to make sure I have full tables maybe. Yeah, you could do that too. I mean, that would be fine, right? Um, differing tracks, of course, you'd always have, I think you would progress through tracks, right? Your first round would be the most basic track. They would get more, you know, right now there's only two, but I think there's another few coming. I think so. It looks yeah, like there's yeah. more coming, right? right Even right. in a box, there's like a space there's for another space map. There's space for it. So, yeah. Where's that map, by the way? Let's get that They're map. They're going to announce it soon. You watch. It better maybe, be a Gen Maybe a Gen Con. We'll find I out. Want no, no, like I want it to be a Gen New Con. maps is at this your Gen number one? Con. My number one is a racing game. <laughs> it's not this game, no. Oh! Um, I almost put Royal Turf on my list, but... My number one is also a racing game. I just thought it would fit well, but it's not this one because I wanted the game to involve not just racing, but how good you are at judging how good other people are. Really? You're picking so restoration? Downforce. Oh, I like that. Yeah, number yeah, one. Yeah, downforce, yeah. Okay, it has, the, it has at the beginning the bidding for powers. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I didn't want people to arbitrarily be given one, but you can buy one. Mm -hmm. And then, if you are not bringing it with the racing, you could always bid on the guy who's bringing it with the yeah. racing, you know what I mean? Would mm -hmm. you play everything off one race, or would you do two races, I think? I would it... do 12 races, throw away the worst six races, and average out the other six. <laughs> Does that make sense? Tiger no, not at all. Not at all. The math checks out. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. I guess you could do multiple ones. You probably need to for the sake of, of luck. Mm -hmm. you got to even it out. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought this sounded good. Sure, a racing game is absolutely good. cinematic for I a agree. tournament, right? I agree. It's going to pull you in. You're going to be having those cheering moments. But you want it to feel fair. Yes. And you, and again, I just figured, okay, well, if you're getting hosed, mm -hmm. then when the bidding comes around, don't bid on your don't own cars. Yourself, like, yeah. so and so over here is doing great, putting some money on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured that'll it's be like, a nice equalizer. Like, so. you know, you were sleeping through the team meetings for your car. Right. Bet on somebody that was paying attention. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, down fours, my number one. All right, Z, are you ready to guess Tom's number one? Because I'm. 85% sure I know what his number one is. 100% you do not, then. There's no way. Let me let me give you some clues, and we'll see. Okay. Give us some clues. My number one, when it first came out, was run as a tournament. It's not ready, set, bet, if that's what you're thinking. That's what I was thinking. Now, there's too no. many. I run ready, set, bet as a tournament at Dice Tower West because it's just sheer silly fun. Yes. I just don't know that you could take it seriously okay. at all. All right. Right. Okay. okay. It's just, you're just guessing, really. You are, yeah. Okay, give us some, give some context right, this one was run. This one was run as a tournament for a long time when it first came out for like the whole year and a half um, and still is and looks like a light, fun game. It's easy to play. People like Bingo would enjoy it to some degree, but it's really tough, tight, and excruciating. Um, and I think it would work well as a tournament because I know it does. And wow. Do you have any idea what it is? He's saying it's like Bingo. Bingo. It's from AEG. Is it Space Base? I don't know. No, no. I thought about Space Base. No, it's Tiny Towns. Okay. I haven't played this, I think. <laughs> All right, so Tiny Towns hmm. is my number one here. Um, I just, I think this works really well. Hmm. Have you played this, Mike? Mm -hmm. You don't like it? Mm -mm. Okay, well, who cares? Um, Ask me the same two questions. <laughs> have you played it? Mm -mm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I 
anyhow, uh, I think this works really well because you are basically saying a color cube, and I would play the variant. I think I would play where each person gets to call the color that they put out. And then you're trying to build these color shapes in the board. Okay. And then when that shape happens, you remove all of them except one of them and place a building of that type, and those buildings will score. But then you, that building is taking the spot of you putting other shapes. It's real. You could play a game of this and get negative points if you're not careful. Yeah, yeah, I you love get, that. You can get completely hosed because one person calls the piece and everyone's going to take the piece. But everyone is playing the same board. I How know. can you get hosed? You could do what they're doing. You can get hosed. I don't know. I, I refuse to be, uh, you know. Terrible you're choice, holding. Thomas. <laughs> 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 I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, they went to the full first name on That's that one. Correct. That is correct. Oh, uh, actually, uh, Bonnie says you got to play the town hall value. You're right. I guess you could draw two cards and a third is a player's choice. That 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 would work too. Mm. But yeah, I I really like this one, um, and I think it would it works well in that tournament setting. I think this would be a serious one. Now, okay. I kind of picked these. I the, the order is kind yeah, of. Yeah. Eh, these are just. I would have these ten as my. Yeah, ring tournament of games. Yeah, yes. and that way I think I would cover almost anyone. I know the super heavy Euro gamers, but they could play Orleans. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I've got the heavy the heavy I've got the Yamatai for that and the Istanbul for that. A lot of them are in the middle for me and then the weird ones like Magic Maze and Fearsome Floors. Yeah. Yeah, for yeah. people who are asking questions, we again if you just come in, we didn't pick games that were already in the World Series of Board Gaming because they're all they're good choices. Yeah. yeah. Dune Imperium, Gaia Pride. Well, I don't I wouldn't pick that. I wouldn't pick that. But Ra, Splendor, yes. Castle of Burgundy, yes. Seven Wonders. There's lots of great games. Seven Wonders for me would be an auto pick. Oh my god. With that gosh. drafting. It has yes. To be. Actually Absolutely. I might I might do architects, but Yeah, yeah. Anything like it. Yes. Adara or Seven mm. Wonders or something like that. That's it. Yes. And I thought there's a couple a couple things that I struggle with. One was I thought about um, dexterity games. I did too. I did too. Um, oh, let me tell you the games that are in their outer rings. Oh, uh, they I, I got to get my my phone. I had some other things I didn't put on my list. Vegas Showdown. Okay. And they got the some of the previous ones, Catan and Blood Rage, okay. Red Cathedral, but they had Crokinole. And Crokinole oh, makes a good tournament. Yeah, I thought about that, absolutely. but that one worries because you can come in with just super skill. Yeah. Um, yeah. They have um, Lost Cities is one of their outer ring tournaments. Really? Okay. At Radlands. Oh, really? Yeah. And oh. Dice Throne is their big outer ring one. Okay. That's, you can win like a trip to Essen. No, that's cool. Got so, it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's cool. I, I like Only it. Tom is one I considered, but I, I, I went with Yench because Only Tom would be trickier tournament wise. Does everyone play with the same five cards? I'd have to right, figure it out. Right, 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 right. What were your other ones? Oh, I had, like I said uh, a moment ago, I had five tribes that I considered. I had Earth that I considered. I had uh, Royal Turf that I considered. And then I had some of those, like, dext little dexterity games. Like Royal Turf would worry me. There's a lot of luck in Royal Turf. You could play it with, the, you can play the Winter Circle if, if, if you wanted to go a little less luck. Yeah. Uh, Either way, it's the same game, but it's just different card distribution. Okay. Alrighty, folks. Well, me, Z, Camilla, and Roy will be at the World Series of Board Gaming, so we hope to see you there. And you're like, what about Mike? Well, next week is Gen Con, and we'll all be there. We'll be there. Mike's going to be holding the door for people. I am going to be holding the door for everybody, yes, yes. It's not, they didn't say everybody. The What's entire up? convention. Mike is a doorman. I'll give you a nice suit. You well, got a suit You, you out can take of tips, it. maybe. That changes my uh, scheduling. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mike? Oh, he's holding the door. He's at the door. The door. Making the door. bank. You would right. make bank holding that door. You would not. Gamers are cheap. You would need to go to the <laughs> bank <laughs> and pull out your own money. All right, folks. We have one more video coming up in 45 minutes. Um, Mega announcement thread. We'll see you then. Until then, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicia. I'm Z Garcia. Have fun running a tournament. Mm-hmm. Dice Tower Summer Spectacular, featuring live play, contests, and we'd like to thank our sponsors and our special guests, and we hope that you enjoy.